Look, my royal subjects, and I mean all of you, because soon you will all bow down and worship my greatness, because I, King Julian, am leaving my own magnificent kingdom and coming to you. But wait, this is no way for my royal adventure to begin. Maurice, roll back. Take it to when my wonderful brain had the idea to give myself to the entire world. Aha! Yeah! Remember these incredible freaks? Yes! It is the giants from New York! Ah, uh, who could forget them? And please, tell me, because I have been trying to forget. Anyway, it all started there, when they decided to leave their sad and pitiful home and set sail on a great adventure to find me. That's right. King Julian, look, I am so handsome! Right away, Mr. Alex developed a taste for the great outdoors. And for scaring off the stinky pooses, which was all right by me, 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 but since the giant freaks loved me so much, I decided it was selfish to just stay here in my wonderful kingdom. I, King Julian, being only one of me, would share my magnificence with all of you, and it would all start with little Mr. Alex. Wake up, Mr. Alex. Wakey, eggs and steaky. Oh no, I'm having that dream again. Ah, this is no dream, my friend. King Julian is alive and well and taking pictures for our new brochure, Madagascar. Why not give King Julian your vacation money? Yeah, Sure, sounds great, but I need to catch some shut-eye before the big trip back to New York. No, no shut-eyes! Now run, jump, do whatever I tell you to do if you want to make the cover. Okay, so the very first picture I want is you catching butterflies. There just aren't enough good pictures of butterflies out there. Catch the butterfly! Oh, there we go! Look at that beautiful butterfly! Nice! You are getting good at this, Mr. Butterfly Catcher. Yes, yes, move it! Way to go, Alex! Melman, where did you come from? And how did you get on top of that boulder? None of these questions have anything to do with pictures I want to take, so I suggest you stop talking and we move on. Hey, can I come with you guys? I have some... <laughs> yes, yes, that is the spirit, Melman. Now let us proceed forward. Come here, run like a gazelle who's being chased by a gazelle. Come this way! Now, you must get ready to grab these very handsome King Julian coins scattered throughout the island. Besides just the general warm feeling that wealth gives you, these coins can be used to buy merchandise at the duty-free shop. How do I get to the duty-free? I'll show you later. Now double jump to grab this coin and hurry! The camera loves you! Everyone else loves me, but the camera loves you. Yes, yes, you have my blessing to collect all those lovely coins. Whoa, Marty, you've got some serious wheels there. You don't know this, but I've been scarfing down carrots day and night. Crunch, 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 in an effort to develop a super fast sprint ability. Go ahead, buddy, clock me. Oh, you're pretty fast, Marty, but I bet you can't catch me. 
come on now, Mort. Ain't no way a little squirt can outrun a thoroughbred like me. Many things about Mort do not make sense, and one is that he can run like the wind. Why don't you two give us a spectacular race? Go. Ready? Set? Oh, this is too exciting! Go! Oh! Congratulations! I knew Mort would lose. Now the winner gets to kick his favorite soccer ball. Hey! Quiet, you. So, Marty, some of my careless lemur subjects found the royal stash of balloons and are now stuck floating in the air like topes. Will you please pop the balloons and rescue them? Bonus balloon! <laughs> oh, oh, happy accident! Thank you, Mr. Marty! You are my hero! Nice job, Marty. Now stand back and watch how it's supposed to be done. What are you trying to say, Alex? I ain't got no game? No, I'm saying that you don't have any game. Okay, okay. You angry giants can trash speak on the soccer field. But now, I need some more photos of Alex. Come here! Run like a gazette! Ah! Oh, my royal rocks! Put them down, fancy chickens! Please, scare those cuckoo birds away from my beloved rocks! Now! Mr. Alex, you must save my rocks! And they are worth their weight in rocks! <laughs> Help! Birds be back! If you save all my rocks, I might consider giving you some. Okay, what? Tell me what. Step down. Oh, Mr. Alex, your reward for chasing away the birdies is a fantastic ride on a zip vine. Jump up high and really hang on, or you'll fall off and land on your behind. You did very well, but unfortunately, you are not a hippo. I need photos of Miss Gloria now. I will find her, then meet you at the soccer field. Wish me happy hippo hunting. 
Oh, Gloria, it is good to see that you can now swim. Too bad you are not as fast as I am. You, a lemur, swimming in a lake? I find that hard to believe. Well, I find it hard to believe that you find it hard to believe. And you're right, I have a boat. Are you ready? What about sir? Go! Clearly, I must be dreaming since you have beaten me. When I wake up, I will show you the secret diving board as a reward for out swimming me in my dream. Hey, Gloria, follow me. Uh oh. A boulder is now blocking the top of the walkway. Why do these things keep happening? How about I grab that pepper and break through the boulder to clear the path? Hey, that is an excellent idea that I came up with. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Very good busting. I can guarantee that boulder did not see it coming. Hey, Gloria, follow me to okay. find... Hey, eyes up here. Now swim towards them. You must swim with me in my weird royal boat team. You must swim with me in my weird royal boat team. found it good for you and good for me for guiding you. You want me to jump really high so you can snap a picture, right? Yes, yes! As high as the tips of your friend Melvin's pointy ears or the moon, whichever comes first. Not as impressive as I can have, of course, because I am here. Hey, eyes up here. Now swim towards them. Now swim with me. Oh, Miss Gloria, I have just been made aware of a very strange and ridiculous situation. Have you seen your friend Mailman? Uh, isn't that Mailman hanging from the ledge? Mailman? Oh, thank goodness you are here. We need you and your heli-gliding abilities. It is a matter of utmost importance. Utmost importance? Are you sure you want me for the job? Yes. As you can see, many of my royal subjects are currently floating in mid-air when they really should be on the ground licking my toes. We need you to glide around and rest... <laughs> The bonus balloon! Pick up every one of these lemurs. Better to capture a heroic moment on film rather than humiliation. Kick the bonus balloon! Kick the bonus balloon!
balloon. Melvin, you saved their lives. Now let us move on and never speak of floating lemurs again. This is no time to be wandering around like a crazy freak. Follow me. Use those long legs to follow my short but great. Marty, this is your last warning. You'll never be able to score a goal with me in the box. That's why they used to call me the wall. Who? Who used to call you the wall? You never even played soccer. You were calling it land foosball five minutes ago. It's the same basic principle, Marty. You kick the ball, you block the ball, you spin around in somersaults. Guys, guys, please. As far as I'm concerned, you're both full of it. So why don't you stop talking and play? Look, you mess with me, and you make a mess. You're quite good, Mr. Marty. But now I want to play a full game of soccer. I will pick a teammate that will even things out. Mort? Sure, bring it on, little man. Tell us how to play. And just to show you how confident we are, I'll barely listen. Well, I won't even give you an explanation then. Now with the printer. Well, that covers everything on the agenda, right, Maurice? Sir, don't we have to load the plane, fly the giants home, and have all sorts of misadventures? This always happens when I don't write things down. Again, just when you thought it was safe to go back into the jungle, boom! Not safe. Look, sir, it's a mole! And he's stealing parts of the plane! Well, of course he is, Boris. What else do you expect a mole to do? They have very boring lives. But don't we need those parts for the plane to actually fly us back to New York? Hmm, that is a good point. And I have a good idea. You, mailman! Are you going to be the one to stop those moles from stealing our parts? Ah, uh, it's Melman. All right, Melman. Here we go. Just use your headband move to knock those moles into next week before they escape with the parts. <laughs> Now 
Now, this batch of moles are not going to respond to your head bash. Use your spin attack move to try to bump them off. the time when it gets really wacky. On some moles you can use only the spin attack, while on others you can only use the headband. Let the madness begin! you're here. I feel a favor coming on. It's this luggage. King Julian has a tendency to overpack. Stuff he doesn't even need, like hay. Who packs hay? And now I can't even get these suitcases closed. Lucky for you, I know just how to deal with it. I've got a butt bounce move that will shut those things, but good. 